Hello everyone and welcome to CDA Kids, where we learn more about Jesus. This is week two of our series, where we're learning clues and following them to solve the mystery of why Easter is so important. Last week, we learned about Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey. When he arrived, a crowd of people worshipped him because they knew he was their Messiah or their Savior sent by God. That's why every Easter we worship Jesus. And today we're gonna get more clues to figure out why Easter is so important. But how do they all fit together? What makes Holy Week so important? Does anybody remember what Holy Week is? It's the week leading up to Easter Sunday, which is actually today. We celebrate Holy Week because there are a lot of important things that happened. And they're all clues that are going to help us solve the mystery of Easter. Let's look at today's story, which took place on a Thursday of Holy Week and gives us another clue of why Easter is so important to us today. We're going to talk about the last meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. It was the Passover meal. Listen for clues as to what the story had to do with the real meaning of Easter. Hello, detectives. We've been busy gathering clues that will help us discover the true meaning of Easter. Last week, we talked about Jesus riding a donkey into Jerusalem. That was the start of what we call Holy Week, which was the last week of Jesus' life before he died and rose again. Today, we have a few more clues to help us figure out the meaning of Easter. What do you think a cup, some bread, and a table have to do with the story of Easter? Let's be detectives and dig into the Bible to figure it out. Last week, we saw what Jesus did on Sunday of Holy Week. Today, let's see what Jesus did on Thursday. On that Thursday, Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem to celebrate the holiday called Passover with a special meal. He told his disciples to go into the city, look for a man carrying a jar of water, and then follow him to his house. When they got there, he said the man would bring them to an upper room in his house, and that room would be all set up for a meal. So the disciples did exactly what Jesus told them to do. When Jesus arrived, he and all of his disciples shared the Passover meal together. While they ate, Jesus passed a drink and some bread to each of his friends. Then he told them that one of them in the room would betray him and that he would die. The bread and drink symbolized that. The disciples were shocked and so sad. They couldn't believe it. Jesus told them to drink from the cup, which represented his blood, and eat the bread, which represented his body, to remember the sacrifice Jesus was going to make for them. So what did the bread, the cup, and the table have to do with Easter? These things are clues that remind us about Jesus' death, the sacrifice he made in order to save us. Sacrifice means Jesus gave up his life for us. So what do bread, cups, and tables have in common? They're all clues that teach us something important about Easter. Every Easter, we remember Jesus' sacrifice. Oh, hi guys! It's nice to have all of you here to find more clues to solve this mystery. Today's Bible story is in the book of Mark, chapter 14, verses 12 to 26. Let's see what clues we can find in this story. What holiday were Jesus and his disciples celebrating? Well, they were celebrating the Passover. We'll talk more about the Passover in just a second. During the Passover meal, Jesus used an object lesson to teach the disciples. What two objects did Jesus use to teach? Well, he used bread and a cup. Well, these are clues. The bread was a clue that represented Jesus' body, which he said would be sacrificed. The cup was a clue that represented his blood that was being poured out. Remember when we said last week that there are clues all over the Bible about Easter and the Easter story? Well, these were clues God gave us before the Easter story ever even happened. Here's another one in John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Me. Lambs were very important to the people in the Bible because lambs were animals that people often used to sacrifice so that they can ask God for forgiveness from their sins. Here's another clue about why this part of the Easter story matters. It happened a long time ago and it's written about in the book of the Bible called Exodus. Let's read Exodus chapter 12 verses 12 to 14. 
On that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. This is a day you are to commemorate for the generations to come. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord, a lasting ordinance. A long time ago, when the Israelites put the blood of a lamb on their door frames, Jesus saved their lives and delivered them from slavery. Then God told them to celebrate this event every year with a special meal. And that's the Passover meal, the meal Jesus and disciples were eating together. Let's reveal today's big idea. Hey everybody, give me a drum roll, please. The big idea is, every Easter, we remember Jesus' sacrifice. Can you repeat that after me? Every Easter, we remember Jesus' sacrifice. Now only you. One, two, three. Awesome! Thank you for being here with me today. Whoa. Did you just see what I saw? That was a clue. Oh, what does this mean? Oh, I know. This means that I must remember to wash my hands with soap constantly for about 20 seconds. This is a clue for you too, and it's very important. So I'll see you later. Now it's time to discover the Bible verses of the month. Let's do this together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for God will be with you. And he will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. The other verse says, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Hey, if you guys do a video of this, please have your mom and dad record it and then post it on our Blooms app. If you don't have it, hear the information because I love to see you guys learning and showing me these Bible verses. There's also going to be a coloring page and activities for you guys to do with your parents. You don't wanna miss out. And it's a cool chance to get some CDA bug. Now it's time to pray. Thank you, Jesus, for having us all here today. Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross for us. I wanna pray for everybody that is watching, all our CDA kids and their families. Bless them and protect them. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Amen. That was awesome, you guys. Great investigating, great collection of clues. Now, I can't wait to see you next week. Bye. Thank you for being with us. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey you. I have a top secret mission for you. It's a top secret meeting. We're gonna get together. We really are. But it's through Zoom. It's going to be on Wednesday from five to six for the preschoolers and from six to seven for the elementary kids. You're not gonna wanna miss it. There's gonna be praise and worship. There's going to be a lesson. There's going to be fun, fun activities. It's going to be amazing. It's top secret. Thank you.